for uh, any person. And I want to give you, I show you a uh, live that how you can do this. Uh, if it's uh, so in order to test, we actually test on the most famous Dutch person. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, Theo and uh, I hope. Yes. Okay. And then I go to the bottom of the page. Okay, he made lots of movies. Um, yeah. Yeah. So in here, in the end, but this um, is. Uh, and we could uh, authority control. I hope I can do And then I will say because we don't know what previews this is. Uh, ah. <laughs> 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 matches partially the title and it's uh, I used the, the counts API for search function as if you were typing the name in the search box on counts itself and that's the result you would get if you felt on categories well there's also a possibility that in a previous state you already saved <laughs> you already saved the category so if you then press the button that category stays, but doesn't get doesn't get checked, and that's the other suggestions it has. So a slight difference, it doesn't duplicate the data already there. Oh, and that's uh, what I did. 
Yeah. Interesting. Well, tell us. Uh, so uh, it's come to us. There are some uh, speakers, so as dancers, and come. So we have their photo from us, but we don't know who they are exactly, so we don't know their names. The idea here is to create um, a kind of games to display those images and to let people say, okay, if they see the image and we suggest them a list of names. They will say, okay, these people are noting, that is his name. They will select and they will validate it. Once done, um, we can update this on, on commerce. <coughs> so we started uh, developing a tool. And this part we develop, we uh, display all the images. And here we take, we uh, make some call to common and get the, uh, the main the, uh, category to which the image uh, is, uh, um, belongs to. And we suggest people maybe it can be wrong. So we suggest to people if it is okay or not. The idea is that if people click this yes, so we display the name of uh, our stickers and then we select among, among them and validate. So next step will be exactly to to make uh, some um, key data queries to get the list of the names. Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, um, deploy it on the watch. So here you can fortunately internet is a bit slow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, but the idea is here is the card okay, so you can you can click and, and navigate through through the images. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, next are Anton and Wilma, um, an author header for Wikisource. Source. <coughs> so, uh, I will talk about three tasks. Uh, at once because they are uh, quite similar. Uh, the problem was that uh, there should be created or edited uh, templates that should uh, uh, take some uh, data from Wikidata. For example, uh, I created uh, an info box in Dutch Wikipedia for uh, plantations uh, which is uh, fu uh, fully uh, Wikidata um, uh, which uh, can uh, take its information uh, from Wikidata. I uh, wrote a module for this. And now it looks like this. See, here is a lot of information. But when we enter, we see that we just call the template. And uh, here is uh, no um, parameters uh, at all. Mm. The same thing I done for Dutch wiki source, where I edited uh, the info box for outer. So if here uh, we remove all the information, it still will be shown from Wikidata. See? All the information is uh, still here. Also, uh, I created uh, this header. Uh, it wasn't there, I created it. It also works fully on uh, Wikidata. It takes uh, date of birth, this, uh, date of death, uh, nationality, and uh, name from Wikidata.
je dit deze boek, uh, het zwervende portret. Uh, the problem uh, was in the beginning to find a book. She wanted a uh, woman writer. And a uh, woman writer has to be 75 years dead because of the yes. rights. So uh, first it was finding a good book that was digitized. And then uh, and she had one. It, uh, it was one of the 18th century. And uh, it, it can be done, but it's not uh, very fine because in the old text, uh, you can see perhaps on this page. Hmm. This is a text, and uh, the OCR, the optical character, character reader, character reader is not very happy with it, but it has to do a lot by hand to make a, a good text. And uh, she's working on it now. Uh, the, the, beginning, the beginning was the most problem to get it as an index pages, uh, like you see this. Uh, you start uh, with uh, uploading a book, you start uploading it to Commons, and then you make an index page on really source and it takes the uh, information from Commons. And then it has to be worked on. That's very short how it uh, works. And, and she's happy with it. And, um, after, the, after we did this, we found some new books that are not that old, so that must be easier for her. So she can, she can go on. <laughs> All right, then we have Hai, who is no longer here, but we have Sandra, who has worked with Hai on um, a tool that is not uh, a fancy acronym. Uh, that does not have a, a fancy descriptive name, but an anagram, right? Mm -hmm. Minefield. Mm -hmm. That was more. Yes. Okay. yes. Yes. And I actually forgot who came up with the name. <laughs> oh! That was me. Thanks to Seabrow. Seabrow is wonderful too. Uh, hi, is not here today. Um, but I want to thank Hi if you're looking at this. Thank you so much. Now I know what to do until Christmas and after. Thank you so much. So um, uh, there was this one missing link to add structured data in large scale to, to Gimbia Commons. The big missing link was that uh, now you have students to do like one big edit to one category of everything the same. But if you want to do like separate, separate, several different edits to a set of files, there's, you cannot do that. You could not do that yet. Uh, this quick statements typically the tool that you would use on Wikipedia is quick statements. But quick statements cannot do that yet. And the missing link was that um, you cannot feed a list, this is a bit technical, but you cannot feed a list of file names to quick statements. It needs the M numbers, it needs the identifiers of the files rather than the file names. And so that was like, oh, this missing link is really the blocker, and hi, solved it. Thank you, hi. <laughs> Thank you so much. So he created a tool that is, has a very smart name called <laughs> MyField, which is an anagram. I have no idea what. Um, but uh, it does this, and I don't know if yeah, I have time for a live demo, but it's super dangerous. So what it can do is actually mm, okay, control copy, copy. You can take uh, any list of file names um, uh, and even a page file results uh, for those people who use page file that's to, to create a, a, a set of pages um, and then feed it to the tool. Use, I'm not now going to use a page file ID of actually the upload of the um, control three. No, 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 well, let's try. No, that, that won't that work. I'm sorry. Live and horrible. Control V. Yeah, I think that is at the script. Anyway. Oh. Oh, it's not working. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want space at the end. Okay. Go, 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 go. So what it does, it takes from the page file. Yeah. Um, did, you, did you see the comic songs? <laughs> 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 Those filings, and um, these are all the files of the, 
the like the encyclopedia of, of uh, botanical illustration. This is just one. Um, and then we see the M numbers. And thanks to that, I already did two batches of you know edits. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yay! <laughs>
postcodes and post addresses and how things are named differently in Sweden and so on and so forth. So we did some edits to make it all work out. And in the end, I think it worked out quite well because we were able to match everything. We can see our really good work <laughs> and sort of the green uh, bits that tell you that we completed the task you know, and the top of the labels. However, I made an artwork to sort of celebrate this success. It's very simple. If, if, if you can see this, um, <laughs> you can see that we can't see it. Yes. My computer is still working on it. So the final step to like actually uh, completing the task is still in progress. So I look forward to completing it over. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, Olaf and uh, Natasha, they have fixed broken map or executed witches by yeah. using Sparkle and more. Etc. Yes. <laughs> well, actually, uh, this was my first time as a mentor uh, during a hackathon, and I've known that because all the tasks I brought myself, <laughs> I couldn't work on them because <laughs> I, I've been helping a lot of people. I've been explaining over and uh, copyright and uh, Sparkle, Wikimedia Commons, uh, Creative Commons licensing, all kinds of questions. I, I tried to help a lot of people, and this morning I did a map making workshop. Um, but after that, I managed to do actually some work for Natasha, and it has to do with uh, a broken map about uh, witches that were executed across the world. Uh, where is it? Um, so this is what we started out with. Don't look at the solution yet, but you see the red dots, the red text there, which indicates that there is a broken map because the Sparkle query behind the map found out. Uh, and I tried to solve that um, <coughs> by first creating an alternative Sparkle query, like this. Uh, actually, actually run it. And then you get a, uh, a table. And then if you download that as a TSV file, And then you upload it to a website called GeoJSON, where you can just upload that TSP file, and you get a bunch of GeoJSON. And then you can copy that into, uh, where is it? This one. So this is a map on Commons. So now this is a working map with all the places that were witches were executed. And then if you then include it into, where well, are we? <laughs> we included it here. So now we kind of mitigated the problem of the link being broken there by this basic map. <laughs> Now that's timing. Okay, we're, we're yeah. a little pressed for time, so I'm changing the rules a little bit. People that have uh, two entries in the uh, presentation uh, from here on, they uh, will lose their second slot, so be careful choosing which, uh, which presentations you're, you're going to uh, give. Um, next are, oh my god, um, yeah. uh, Aribo Lab. Amir and John Samuel. Yes, Amir just had for Oh, he had to move, uh, go to the airport. Um, and John Samuel was. Sorry? Don't come back. He said he's going to come back. Don't come back. Okay, then we're going to skip him when he comes back. Then. Uh, so then we have Lisbeth, Daniela, and Martin. Uh, biographic uh, data for yeah, live and professors. Well, my, don't skip. Good. If we have time uh, at the okay. end, then uh, you will still um, get to come again. And then we have um, Alika, Michelle, Daniele, 
Hallo en Antonien, en dan dus Pas op even Delft. Annika.
sections in discussions, and for this purpose, um, they're using a, an OAuth uh, login. Um, oh, and the, the request was to not stream this. So, uh, would you be um, able to tell us more when we turn off the cameras yeah, afterwards? Yeah, okay, good. Um, then we go, sorry, we missed that. Uh, then the Elsinger collection was uploaded. Uh, Michelle, Sam, Martin, and I worked on that. Michelle? Yeah, so I heard uh, Sandra talk about all the plans you had for uh, Christmas holiday. Mm -hmm. And uh, Denise and I, we were talking about that maybe uh, if some things that were um, located as a session to this hackathon didn't get picked up, that we would probably be do doing that. And one of them was the uh, Elsinger Art Collection, which is a collection from the uh, regional archive of Altmar and contains over 10,000 images, which we uh, would be uploading with Petitan, which is a spreadsheet tool. And uh, the way I use it, it takes a lot of manual uh, editing. So I was really uh, happy that uh, Simon and uh, Martin and uh, Sam joined forces to um, uh, help out with that. Simon first uh, extracted all the um, metadata from the uh, API and um, divided it into uh, batches of uh, 500 uh, objects apiece. And then he wrote some really uh, great code, which uh, I can show you, but I'm not sure if it's, well, it's all here, so you can use it if you uh, want to. Sorry, it's um, so all the work that I basically do when I work with Petapan was done by this uh, amazing uh, Python students. <laughs> I think uh, I also have a little bit here. Yeah, I got, I got some help because I'm not used to dealing with the data structures that we work with here. But anyway, I'm sorry I didn't put it in there. <coughs> the data looks really uh, pretty now. It's, uh, it's um, uh, previews uh, also very uh, nicely in fat pan. The only problem we have is that uh, for some reason, um, I don't know. What well, we're, we're trying to... Um, have the, the Wikimedia servers download the, the file directly, and that is uh, failing for uh, some reason that we can't explain yet. So, uh, and the, the, the other option would be that we first have to download 10,000 files to our own uh, <laughs> computer and map, map that correctly with file names and then upload them again. So, that's a lot more work, so it's, it would be much better if it works without having to download them ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, a route that we didn't go yet, but that might be the next option. Mm -hmm. So still some work left to uh, do for this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, uh, can someone tell me please how to pronounce it correctly, but we have someone talking about uh, automated mass upload images uh, received by scraping. Uh, how do I correctly pronounce your acronym? Uh, okay, my Go name on. is uh, Tokaong. Uh, 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 user uh, name is Tokaong. Uh, and my name is Anton Bojan. So, uh, Mr. Olaf Janssen uh, talked to me about his plans to scrape some websites to get images from them and then upload them uh, to comments. But after getting those images, uh, upload them to comments manually would not be a good uh, idea. So I started developing a program which would automatically upload uh, many uh, images, it's a program uh, run locally on a computer's <coughs> computer, it's a that file. So all it's needed is a folder of files uh, and a description uh, to them. As an example, I have uploaded a file to uh, the Wikimedia Commons. <laughs> it was uploaded uh, automatically, as you see, not through uh, upload wizard. I uploaded only one image, 
but uh, not, uh, I could uh, have uploaded hundred or thousand images within several uh, minutes. Uh, this program is yet very raw. Uh, I finished it in a hurry now 15 minutes uh, ago. But <laughs> if we uh, had the third day of this event, I would make it much better. <laughs> and I will probably uh, do it. Thank well, you. the goal is to complete all the work and take some home, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
sustaining it because the website will remain there. You are documenting what you learned, and uh, uh, you can help it. Can, it. can people contribute to it? Everyone can contribute. It's a login page, so you can when you have a GitHub account on it and contribute content. Yes. That's so cool. So learning Wikibase dot com. Um, okay, now we have the last presentation that will be recorded. Um, uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll do a very brief closing of the uh, showcase after Edo's uh, presentation. Um, I hope I did not forget anyone who was on the list that wanted to present. Yes. Amir. Yeah. <coughs> Amir. 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 But this year, actually, luckily that wasn't possible because I was so busy helping all other people and giving to work and workshops myself. I think that what I heard back that was very good, all these workshops. People learn a lot, so a lot. And I'm always amazed if I see them, all these presentations, how much work is actually done in only two days. So actually, I want to thank all of you because I think <laughs> that was actually exactly what we meant to reach with a weekend like this. And you made a success out of it yourself with the help of everyone helping each other. Yes. Thank you. That is uh, uh, mowing the grass in front of someone's feet. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's something that uh, Edo just did. Uh, <laughs> thank you for that. It's my, uh, my, my job. Well, say yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and and Daniel will say something similar very soon, too. Uh, we're going to have two uh, brief presentations. So, this is where the recorded uh, showcase ends. I want to thank everyone for watching it now, for watching it later. Uh, and please um, organize your own uh, text storm events or come to our next one. Thank you. Mm -hmm.